Today we're going to unbox the Estes Mean Machine. There are many unboxing videos for model rockets, but wouldn't you like a real rocket scientist's opinion of the materials and parts in the kit? Today you'll actually find out the inside information, so that you know what to look for when you get a rocket kit. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan, and yes, I am a real rocket scientist. Today we're gonna unbox the Estes Mean Machine. Now this is an older kit, but is probably new to you if you're watching this. This is one of Estes's tallest rockets. It's 79 inches tall. That means it's six feet, seven inches tall. So it's a pretty tall rocket and it comes in a small package, as you can see here. You can see it's uh, got this nice uh, colorful illustration on the front and let's open it up because I'm interested in seeing what's on the inside. So this is the first time that I am looking at it as well as you. So you got the plastic bag here. Okay, and then inside, the first thing you're gonna notice are all these tubes. So we have four tubes. These are 18 inches long. Um, this is BT60 size. Um, and then you have a plastic nose cone. This is a blow molded nose cone and you have a parachute loop here on the back and you're gonna have to cut out that little uh, little notch on the inside so you can thread the strings through there from the parachute. Um, that's a really nice fit. It's nice and snug. As you can see, there's four of these tubes. So when you stack them all up, it's gonna be six feet, seven inches tall. Now this inside of here, a few years back, I heard that Estes had redesigned this kit to make it so that it can come apart so that you can take it apart because it's you know such a long rocket you can't even put this in your car unless you have a minivan or something like that so they designed it so that it will unscrew and i believe that this is the part that unscrews so it's got a couple of little studs here and i am sure that that's going to go into these grooves on the inside of this part so it's gonna to go together and then you're gonna give it a twist. Yeah, you can, you can feel it lock. Um, and so what's gonna happen is you're gonna take one of these and you'll glue one on this side and then the other one on this side like that. And then, so once you got this long rocket, um, you'll put it together and just simply twist it and that's going to lock it in place. So I don't have them glued right now, but that's how that works. Um, these are, oh, come on. These are injection molded plastic, uh, which is really nice. Um, that's how they can get the grooves on the inside with the uh, undercut. Um, so there's two of those. Um, these are the tube couplers. So the other tubes, you'll probably glue them together using regular tube couplers like this. And these are just craft paper and they're colored red so that they're easy to identify. This right here is an engine spacer tube because you're going to put in a engine mount and an engine block and this will put it in. So after you're done uh, building a rocket, you won't need that. Just save that because it comes in handy when you're building other rockets. So in here are all the small parts. Let's take a look at what's in there. Okay, so you have your warranty. So don't throw that out. So if there's anything wrong, you just call up Estes and they'll take care of it for you. Um, it also lists the launch site dimensions when flying any rocket uh, based on what engine you're going to be using. Now this is going to be a D or an E engine, so you're going to need a launch site with a minimum square dimension of 500 feet on a side for a D, 1,000 feet for an E rocket. Um, and it's multilingual, so if you speak another language, you can read that. Um, this is the shock cord, and Estes uses rubber shock cords. Um, just be sure when you fly your rocket to inspect the shock cord because over time rubber will degrade. You know, so if your rocket is, is a year old or older, you want to be able to tug on it 
make sure that you, that rubber is still resilient and it's not gonna snap on you or your rocket's gonna come down in multiple pieces. Uh, these are the centering rings and these are laser cut and I can tell because there's a little bit of a burn mark on the outside, but that's fine. Um, the nice thing about laser cut is that they typically, the fit is really nice. Um, this orange tube is a spacer tube for your rocket engine. So um, the E engine, the Estes E engine is one inch longer than a D engine. So if you're using a D engine in this kit, you're going to need a little spacer to push the engine all the way to the back end of the rocket. And so that's what this little spacer is. And this is also reusable. It's big, heavy wall. Um, I like these. I always have a little container full of them because you can never have one when you're, it's never available when you need it. Um, this is the launch lug. Um, this is 3 16 inches in diameter. So this is larger than the Estes Porta Pad. So you're gonna need the, what Estes calls the Maxi Rod. And that's 3 16 inches in diameter. Um, if you don't have one, you can find one typically at like a Home Depot or a Lowe's. They sell steel rods. Just get it six, 3 16 inches. The longer, the better. So if you can get one that's four feet, particularly on this rocket, this is a six feet, seven inch long rocket. Um, so yeah, the longer, the better. Don't get anything shorter than three feet. And in fact, you know, I would search for the four foot. Um, these rings right here, this is your engine block. And this is the, um, the little tube, the sleeve that will go on the outside. And what this does is this holds the engine hook in place um, to make sure that when you bend the engine hook back, it doesn't uh, doesn't snap off. This is the engine hook. This is an E size, like I said. Um, when you put the rocket motor in, this will go inside of that if you're using a D engine, um, you know, can, a D engine is this long and an E engine is that long. And so the, this engine hook will be good for both D and E engines. Uh, this is the shock cord mount. So you're going to take your rubber shock cord and you're going to lay it on this and fold it in half and glue it. Um, Estes has been using these for a long time. Um, this is an old standby, so don't worry about that. It works really well. Uh, this, uh, like I said, is the engine tube. This is our plastic parachute. Let's open that up and see how big it is. I'm sure that it's going to be pretty big because this is a big rocket. Um, oh, look at that. The uh, parachute lines are already attached. So you don't have to do that when you're building your rocket. Um, this, this parachute, uh, I'm laying it here on my table. Just getting an estimate. This is looks to be about 14 inches. So this is like a 28 inch parachute, um, give or take. Uh, but it's it's pretty big. Um, I like the the graphic. It's uh, nice and colorful and large. It might be a 24 inch parachute. That's a nice parachute. Okay. And then there's a few more parts in here. Um, these are the balsa fins. This is, looks like 3 16 inch balsa wood. Um, and these are also laser cut. This is nice. Um, that should work really well for you. And then in here, we have the instruction sheet. Um, Estes always does pretty good on their instruction sheets. Um, right here is the one part you're going to have to cut out of your instruction sheet. That's the wrap that goes around the tube so you can mark the locations for the fins. Um, yeah, it's like a six page instruction sheet. Um, yeah, nicely illustrated. I don't think you're going to have any problems building it. This is, doesn't say on the instruction sheet. I'm wondering what skill level it is. They call it 
and advanced. So that's kind of like skill level three. So you got beginner, in your, in, intermediate, advanced, and expert, and master. So this is kind of like skill level three, which is what I would agree with. And then finally, we have our decals. And these are water slide decals. So you'll cut them out, soak them in water, and then the color slides off and you'll slide it on your tube. So make sure you paint your rocket first. Um, and then uh, you'll slide these on and I like it. It's got like this this uh, biting mouth. <laughs> it's the mean machine. So this again was the Estes mean machine. It flies on D and E motors. Um, it will also work on the Aerotech composite motors. Um, they have D, E, and F size engines that will fit into this kit. So when you're going F, this is going to go really high. Estes says that it's going to go, they usually list how high it goes, it soars up to 700 feet, and that will be on an Estes E motor. But if you use the Aerotech F motor, you're going to double that. You're going to go about 1,400 feet. And this is a tall rocket, so this is like about that tall, you know, from the ground. Um, and I'm, I'm sure you're going to love it. It's a nice, easy build. Uh, people always ask, what's your biggest rocket? And this will be probably your biggest rocket unless you go high power. So this is the Estes Mean Machine. You'll find it here at Apogee Rockets. Our web address is www.apogeerockets.com.